Hey, I'm Mike, and welcome to Retro Boost. This is a continuation on an existing kind of uh, segment that I'm doing. It's really just gameplay focused. I explained all the details about this in the previous video. This is the second one total. The last one was on the 2X Pro and the Super Nintendo. This one's going to be on the 5X Pro and the Super Nintendo. And eventually I plan on doing this for all the consoles I can that have multiple cable types to show all the options that you can kind of expect to get from devices like the RetroTing 2X Pro, 5X Pro, so on and so forth. Hopefully the 4K down the road if I get my hands on one. Uh, that came out uh, for order uh, last week. Wasn't able to grab one myself, but uh, I definitely want one down the road. So today is all about the 5X Pro and the Super Nintendo. What this will be is straight gameplay, just to kind of give you an idea of what a device like the 5X Pro can do with your Super Nintendo. Got the capture and everything set in 4K, YouTube's compression is going to take away some of it like I explained in the previous part and some previous videos. That was something I really wasn't fully cognizant of when I was doing videos for the channel in the early days, but have become more aware of since. Uh, but it's still a good, like, rough idea, and the 4K part of this really helps maintain uh, the level of detail that I have in the capture compared to the upload. Still, some is lost, just keep that in mind, but it's a good idea of what to expect. Uh, and since this is the 5X Pro, there are more options available than the 2X Pro had. With the 2X Pro, it was mainly an issue of checking out the different cable types from the Super Nintendos. With the 5X Pro, same cable types are available, composite, S-Video, component, and RGB SCART, but the 5X Pro itself is just this big sandbox of possibilities with settings that you can do with it. So I wanted to kind of figure out how to best showcase what the 5X Pro can do. So what I settled on, are five different clip examples between the four different cable types and the two different types of Super Nintendos I have. That way I can show like everything that's at my disposal for this demonstration. So what does that mean? Well, we're gonna do clips of gameplay that are 1080p fill, like the default you just turn it on and go kind of setting. So that's 1080p fill, generic 4x3. Then we'll do 1080p over, 1080p under, and then two different scan line examples one without HDR and one with the HDR signal flag enabled. And that'll give like a good idea of what you can do with the 5X Pro with the Super Nintendo. Does it show everything? Well, of course not, because there's like a trillion things you can do with the 5X Pro. But I want to have these gameplay videos out there uh, as a way to just kind of show what this thing can do. Because at the end of the day, we get devices like this to play with them. I like comparing them and doing side-by-sides and stuff because I find this interesting, but you know, you, you buy them to play games with them, so I want to show just what that looks like, just the gameplay. So what you're going to have here are screenshots and 30 seconds of gameplay using composite, S-video, component, RGB cables, 1080p fill, 1080p over, 1080p under, scan lines, no HDR, scan lines with HDR on the 2-chip and the 1-chip SNES to just kind of show everything that I have the ability to show right here for you. Um, did not realize the the grave I was digging for myself when I started this because it, it quickly became a realization of how much capture footage this would be. Uh, I think it was like a couple hours of capture footage for the 2X Pro version of this video because I did, I did three different games. But given the number of examples I wanted to give for this video, that wasn't good to keep the runtime down. So it's one game, Yoshi's Island, a screenshot, then gameplay. It's the same kind of sequence of gameplay for each clip. Uh, but since there are so many different types of examples between the cables, the settings, the two consoles, I ended up with like, no joke, like six and a half, seven hours of footage totaling about 200 gigs uh, <laughs> for what amounts to like 25 minutes worth of examples to show in the video itself. My hope is to reuse other parts of this footage for some stuff down the road where I'm going to either do like another big 2X Pro, 5X Pro, maybe the 4K comparison, or just like a video on why, what upgrading the cables can do for you. Uh, topics like that, I know I could put this footage to use again elsewhere. So hopefully it'll it'll come back. Um, but that was really funny to me that I it became this black hole of like, oh, this is a lot of stuff <laughs> for what should be on paper a very simple video to make. Uh, it's just gameplay, right? How hard could it be? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. 
Hope you find this helpful, informative. Plenty of other stuff going on with the channel right now. The Retro Boost podcast would have had a new episode go up prior to this video going live on the Super Mario RPG. Got another one in the works about the Indiana Jones movies. Retro Boost podcast, we just talk about games, movies, whatever. It's a good time. Uh, and then uh, got another uh, couple of giveaways uh, coming for the Discord server. Back in September, when the uh, Discord server kind of first went live, it went live before that, but to celebrate it going live, we did a giveaway of the Super Mario Bros. movie, a digital copy, uh, a code for the digital copy. Doing another one of those giveaways, uh, the two movies in question are going to be uh, Titanic, the new 4K release of Titanic, a digital code for that, and then a digital code of Oppenheimer. Uh, so if you're a member of the Retro Boost Discord server, that's all you need to be. If you're a member of the server, you're part of the, you get like an entry, and then I draw names, and then announce the winner. It's all done through the uh, Retro Boost Giveaways account that you'll see in the server under the Special Categories section. So I'm going to announce that, because the first giveaway is going to be on the 24th of this month, December, and then the second giveaway is going to be uh, either right on or right after New Year's. Uh, Titanic is the first giveaway of the two. Uh, so, just wanted to announce that. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you find this gameplay uh, interesting, informative, give you an idea. Um, the last two things I'll say on it. Um, number one, with the 5X Pro being a veritable sandbox of possibilities, uh, one thing I really didn't do or focus on uh, was like the cropping part of it. Um, I did scale. Uh, and get it to like a perfect 4x3 when using Super Nintendo sampling for the 1080p over and under and scan line uh, clips. Um, but other than that, didn't really do a lot of cropping and whatnot. Um, just keep in mind that like you can crop the image, like, you know, overscan can be an issue for certain consoles and games. It came up mostly with composite while I was recording these clips. Uh, so one of the clips, it is cropped, but for others, uh, you know, I didn't, wasn't doing that a lot for the other cable types. It wasn't as necessary, basically. Composites is kind of where that stuff shows up more. Uh, but just bear in mind, the 5X Pro has the power to remove overscan. Additionally, for the HDR, I just kind of set a baseline brightness of 10. I'm sure a lot of people may find that too bright. I kind of like it, but, you know, it's subjective. This is what I like here. There's no law to what you have to do. So just bear in mind that that could also be even brighter or you could take away from it you could boost the color there's so many possibilities with all those settings this is just to give you a general idea of what you can get from different modes and settings with the 5x pro because uh, i really like the idea of having like kind of an archive of just gameplay clips to reference um i i was doing that early in the channel days and i kind of wanted to do it again now that i've really dialed in what i like for my capture settings so that was always changing back in years past and now i've now I've, i like what i got so i wanted to revisit this thing uh next time i'll be doing this for the n64 uh, separate videos for the 2X Pro and 5X Pro, RGB modded and all that good stuff, regular composite, RGB modded, the whole works. Basically, whatever cable type I can use, I'm going to make clips with, uh, including like my PS1. We're going to do some composite, some RGB stuff with that. Be fun. So more of this little series uh, to come. Um, anyway, enough delay. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the clips.